everyone, it's Nathus. Um, today I will be taking part in the Forge Guardians Silver event today, for Forge Guardians Call to Action. Um, so this is being run by More Than Moost. Um, so the event started at noon today. Um, there's about two minutes left in the first round. Um, I ended up playing a silver deck today so I could get a buy, primarily because I slept a little late and I wanted to make sure I ate lunch before the event. <laughs> but um, the second round is going to be starting probably in the next, like, hopefully five minutes or so. I'm not sure where the last game is right now in terms of time. Um, but I'm going to jump back into the in-between rounds chat, and um, we'll get going as soon as the, the tournament actually gets started, or as soon as the next round gets started. And it looks like there are 11 people. Um, four people ended up getting the buy, uh, or taking, or sorry, four people ended up having to play in the first round, and then seven people ended up bringing a silver deck with a first round buy. Um, so it looks like, I think they said it was four rounds with a top cut, um, so it'll be a lot of fun. Um, so thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, I will be playing a Rumble Spark Elemental deck today, just because it's been a while since I played one, and I was like, I might as well just go for it today. Um, so I will put my list on the screen once I get back into the chat, just so people could see it before the next round gets started. Um, so yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. This group of misfits, my god. <laughs> <laughs> I resemble that. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, Burke is Eli. Yeah, yeah she does. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. The almost gold deck, right? Yeah. I hope you get gold today, Eli. That'd be cool. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can get two buys in the next one. Oh, yeah. the first it'll just be one buy. Yeah, I'm not picking it to a silver. Once it's gold, it doesn't need to be in silver events anymore. Correct. Uh, are they not, not going to change that ruling to stop like gold entering silver? It seems a bit. It's in process. Oh, okay. That's what they've said. They said they're reworking how all that stuff works. Okay. And then that's uh, that's what they've told us. I'm gonna make parent. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that's so how that far we are. So if Eli wins, he, he'll be the first one to have a gold deck? Is that, is that right? Nobody's yeah. got a gold deck yet? And then oh. when he wins Worlds, he'll be the first <laughs> with a Platinum deck. Wow. I don't know. Jerch smacked me around with his Rumble Spark yesterday. Yeah, he killed me. Oh, you're not going to have a gold deck. Cycle two, spark. turn two. That's no okay. fun. Uh, so round two pairings are up. Zoe, it looks like you got the buy. Uh... All right, everybody, I'll give a, a few minutes, a three oh, minutes to get everybody luck. set up, and then I'll start the timer. GG's. Me and you, right, Christy, everyone. are you excited? Good luck. And, uh, yeah, any, anything, rules or whatever comes up, feel free to message me, and I'll pop in and help out. Yeah. Right. I've got lots of fun batching stuff. It's going to be a good time. I'm actually super excited, because I really... Hey, how you doing? Oh, not too bad. My first silver event. Let's see how it goes. Oh, nice. Are you excited? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the, this deck's got in the last five tournaments I put it in, it's gone 13 and 2. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, both losses were to Christy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that, that's what I needed it to do to get it to silver so I can use it. But Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm playing one I haven't played in a while, just for the sake of, um, what's it called? I didn't get to eat lunch this morning, um, it's because I slept real late, because I was up real late. So, my goal was, alright, I guess I'm gonna make sure that I get to eat, so let me play something that's silver so I can get the buy. <laughs> Don't you play Rumble Spark? Yeah, it's just, the, that was the, it's, it's different than what I've been playing lately, so that's why I was yeah, just yeah. like, I'm getting sick of playing Green Purple right now. Um, and then yeah, I, I built a green per. I, I pretty much built the deck that you played yesterday. Yeah, and oh my god, it is a slog to play. Yeah, like it, it, it just takes so long. It does. Um, do you want to make a room by the way, or do you want me to make one? Um, I don't even have tabletop open yet. So All right, no worries. All right, I'll create one now. But yeah, that's the thing where it's like those decks can take a while to play, and then especially in this meta, it's like you've got to kind of play perfectly otherwise the rumble sparks can just roll over you and even if you play perfectly it's like the same thing where it's like every deck has an opportunity to high roll other decks um it's like yeah, anyone could, you just, could just you just draw like shit yeah and anyone could just natty draw a um a Krogius level three cycle three turn one <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like no matter what like you get to that cycle they drop it it's like no matter how good you're doing it's just it'll end the game most likely um so that's the thing where I I, I like that because it's like we almost you, you need that in card games where 
you have a silver bullet, you have a way to just end games. Um, like, I do like the fact that before set, or I like the fact now that games kind of end relatively quickly, where in set one only, it was all green, purple, and everyone was just gaining life nonstop. And then every game would go to, like, cycle four, and everything would take, like, over an hour. Oh, come on. And when you get here, the password is 123. So yeah, that's one of the things that I liked about uh, Magic. Uh, I don't know if you ever played yeah. or not, but, but they got the three rounds. Yep. But it's, uh, everything's best of three. That way you can kind of sort of mitigate the whole, oh, I just got screwed that game. Exactly. I didn't get to, I, I didn't get to play my deck the way it was meant to be played because... I got shit luck. In this game, uh, get shit luck, you lose. That's it. Exactly. It's the same thing with Flesh and Blood, too, where it's like, granted, it's like every game like where you have the ability to... like. So I guess Magic, it's good because it's like they have Mana Screw. Mana Screw is a big part of the game. So it's like, it's tough to have a best of one in that situation. But like something like Flesh and Blood, Soul Forge, everyone's going to be able to play cards every turn. You know what I mean? Like You're always going to have your actions that you're going to be able to do. So even yeah. if they're not good actions... They're still They're actions. Still actions. So it's like, I understand why they've kind of moved from best of three, but like, and granted, that rounds would probably be hours long based on the way that the games have kind of developed if we did best of three. Um, that being said, like, I do well, wish there was a no, little bit No more. one would be running green purple if it was best of three. That's true. Or they run green purple hoping they win game one, because that's really all you need. Yeah, win game one and then go to time. Yep. Or go to time with game one. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then are you good for me to start, by the way? Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, that, but that's exactly what would happen, because that's what would happen in like control matchups in Magic, where it's like they would bring control and then, like, you just don't have an option. Yeah, I used to be a dirty control player. Oh man, I'm not a fan of this hand. This is a great. I'm going second hand. Way <laughs> not great. I'm going first hand. Do I just play this to level it? I think I so. Know. Oh, this doesn't feel good at all. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is what we got to do. This is the reason why I've stopped playing this deck, by the way. Just hands like this. Or it's not the reason why I stop it. It's like, it's brutal when you start like this. And I'm not saying I'm going to lose the game because of it. I'm not going to, I'm not saying anything like that. It's just, uh, unfortunately, my, my first play here is to play a Necrovive. <laughs> so. Oh, yay. Yep, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> if I was going second, I'd love this hand, but me going first, it's just, it's tough in turn one. When... Oh, so you got a bunch of react. Yeah, I've, I've had the handful of reaction yeah. stuff going first, and that's not fun. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo. Might as well. We. He's back here. Interesting. Gotta double check what you are. Oh, uh, yep. You probably have that, and then I'll feel bad. But it's happens. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play a Chaining Ice Crusher because I played a Neck Revive. I'll play a Free Grave Pact to destroy this to kill your Nova. Oh, that's sad. And then two. Well, um, I'm going to play this for free to level it up. And then I'm going to Tortoise Colossus and yep. give it a go. That is exactly what I thought was coming out. All right, so I'll take yep. five. And then you flip. Flippy, flippy, flippy. All right. Yeah, see, if I went second, this would have been the perfect counter to your move because you play the Nova, I play the Necrovive. You play this, I end up going um, Chaining Ice Crusher, kill your thing. But when you go well, first with I, that I, hand... If I was going first, other things would have happened. Oh, for sure. That makes sense, too. Uh, 
Oh, look, I'm going first again. <laughs> uh, yeah, don't play that. Well, I will play this. I will. I think we're dropping this. Ugh, now the question is where? So that's gonna do Excuse that. Me. Oh, you're good. Um, yeah, I think I have to go. This oh, here. It's a Nova. Drop that there. And two. Oh, I don't like it. Uh. <laughs> well, what to do? Uh, kill that. And cry a little bit. And... Yeah, I guess I'm going to do that. Uh. I'm gonna deal two damage of that. Give this yeah. plus two. Activate this, kill that. Activate this, move it up. Yeah, that's and unfortunate. Yeah, that's really tough. I needed that to live. Um So I think I still have to play this or not maybe i just do that so it can deal but then that doesn't help me later in the game this box eight so i'm gonna take seven you're gonna have a full board or i do that i take 13 Ugh. I have to get rid of that. So yeah, my only real option here, unfortunately, now that you killed the Nova, is to go here around the elementals here and not replace anything. All right, so I'm taking 13. And this is dead. This takes two. I like your Auntie elementals. Yeah, it's a great card. I just needed a body on the board for it. All right. So I think... Where do we have to start? That's damage, unfortunately. Um, yes, yeah, so if I go this, it's got to be there, I guess. Then you do that, then that feels real bad for me. And then that means I can't. Oops, wrong card. I need to do this one. <laughs> Um, that's also still a thing. That's also still a thing. So I think what we have to do... Let me get drop. I'm going to go Rageborn Eruptor, and I'm actually just going to do it here. So this gets plus one because I have one Exalt in play. And then two. Um, <laughs> Put him there. Yep. <laughs> uh, 
and that's all I got. Play a Spirit Reaver here. I'll activate. I'm going to say Dinosaur. Dinosaur? Yep. Get minus one. Nine, two. Do that, or I could do that. What's in here? That is not right here. And no. No, no. Okay, that's not worth it yet. Um. I really wish it didn't have. I mean, it's better to level it up now than to not have it, but. Yeah, I'm just going to dreadbolt this guy. Yep. So I'm taking two, you're gaining two. Mm -hmm. And one, two, three, four, and Yeah, I'll go ahead and move this guy. Right. Sounds good. So I'll take twelve. Take five. Take five. Then an elemental dealt damage, so I'll flip my rumble. Oh yeah, I got that. Oh, you take four more there too, yep. Yeah. And I think at this point I don't have a choice but to drop this here. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there we go. Those aren't getting played. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. What do I want to do here? That would be fun. Yeah, let's just do that. I'm going to activate my Forge Point. So everything gets plus two and mobility. Yeah. So I'll move this here. I'm going to move this here. I'll move this here. And then I'm going to play Solemn Hawk Rider. Uh, no adjacent creatures get plus two, plus two. And then I'm going to give this plus three, and I guess this plus three. All right. Is that everything? Yep, that's it for me. We will. I could do this Excuse or me. that. And no, I think it's got to be this card. And I think we have to say. Actually, no. I think we have to do this first. I'm going to play a group meal. We'll get a mindless zombie. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That's good. One, two, three, four. And then two. Two.
Dark card level two. And that's it for me. All right, so Total Train, Battle Trump, Battle Die, Battle Rip, Battle Die. I dropped this. See that anyway. Technically, save that for next. If that still lives, I could hopefully draw what I need. I'm going to play a Spirit Reaver here. I'm going to activate and say all mages get minus two health. And then that's what we got. So we'll go to damage. So you'll take one breakthrough. Yep. This break. will trade. Um, yours will take three. This will die. This will take seven. This will die. So we'll do the in the back, so we're good. And then yours goes to one. This dies. There you go. All right. We. I do that. <sighs> I gotta see what's in your yard. Okay. So there is one answer. That means the odds are you have it. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. So I think this has to go. And I ideally do that. Yeah, we just gotta hope for the best. Oh, look, a dark card. I think this is what I'm playing at. So it doesn't make sense to drop it there. Yeah, I think we've gotta go here. And then if I do this yet. No. Yeah, because you ping your own Darko with that, too. That's true. <laughs> All right, and then to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything yet. I could do something. I could do something. All right, so I'm just going to try to play it safe, and I'm going to kill your dark heart. Okay. One, two, three. You did four. have it. That was the only answer you had for that move. <laughs> yeah. Take it from my dark yep. heart. All right, so if that's the case. We've got to do... That, that, that. So we're going to say Yeti. So Yeti, Yeti will die. No, Yeti died. Um, We're going to activate to deal four, gain four. And then we will play a Blitz and Colossus here. And then two. We'll give him plus three and breakthrough. All right, I'm dead. Wee. All right, great game. Oh, yeah. I love this card in this deck. This uh, betting worm. Yeah, won, that's a great won, one. Won me a lot. That and uh, the Thunder Crash Field won a lot of games. But yeah. Uh, 
I kind of forgot how degenerate this deck can be. I haven't played it in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah, for sure. No, it's a really strong deck. Like, And the, the Rumble um, Mirror is all about who also flips first and has the better draw. Like me being yeah. first and having to go Necrovive into a Chaining, into a, um, what's it called? Into a Grave Pact and having an empty board is really oh, tough. Yeah. And then like my one out was that, that Nova stayed alive. And then you had the ability to go Death Current, um, Mech Mage, mm-hmm. kill it. Yeah. Because I had the Uranti Elementalist, which was going to replace it. And then I was going to Infernal Ritual, the Uranti, to play a zombie in the front to and also block your rumble. And then at that point, I just had to get the body out. So at that point, it was it was rough. Um, but yeah, that's the whole thing about this, is your deck is really consistent. And it's really strong. So it was definitely fun to play against. I was sitting there hoping you didn't have the Virix Embrace. Because th- this was pretty much my only plan mm-hmm. for this turn, was deadbolt whatever you were bringing out, yep. if it needed it, and then give this breakthrough. Oh, for that sure. Was, that, that was my plan for the turn. If but, that didn't, couldn't happen, if, so I, I saw I saw you have Virix Embrace, like, oh, he can he can do that and kill Rumble, and that would hurt. Oh, no, the, the Virix Embrace was only four damage. I couldn't have killed the Rumble with it. Well, oh, Grave Pact, you mean? No, you had Virix Embrace, you have this, and you had this. You could have killed Rumble. Yeah, but then it comes right back with uh, Dark Heart. Yeah, but it's not a, not nearly as big. Oh, for sure. But that's the thing where it's like, I, I have to assume that you don't have the um, the, the Dreadbolt and the Worm, and then I have to try to get rid of the thing. Because it's like, if you don't have the Worm, and I kill the Rumble Spark, and then you don't give a Breakthrough, then I just wasted all my resources just to give you a, a 4-8. Oh. But... I agree. Like, I guess if I look at you, like, if I had a visibility of your hand and I saw you had the breakthrough, I guess oh, yeah, the yeah, right yeah, move is to, to yeah. kill the embodiment. But yeah, I, I was just hoping that you didn't just want to <laughs> get rid of get rid of Rumble as quick as possible. Oh get yeah, get rid no. of the big Rumble and leave me with a little one for sure. Yeah, if Dark Heart wasn't on the board, Rumble's the target. But when Rumble's on the board, Dark Heart's the target. Yeah, sure. I, I, I saw. Uh, I I just wanted to make sure that. Uh, the lives were right because I had no clue what you were going to be put in front of oh, for sure. So I, was like, so I was like, "All right, so Dark Heart's out. Just kill the Dark Heart, <laughs> and then whatever he plays next, I'll try to deal with accordingly." Oh, for sure. Because it, it was either this or Mech Mage to kill whatever you put in front of that. Oh yeah, but, definitely. Yeah, that's a solid hand there. Yeah, and I think. I just missed a lot of key cards too. Like the stuff I leveled during cycle one, I didn't see the chaining, the elementalist, the necro vibe, any of that stuff. I didn't see the level two Nova to start removing things either. Um, I just was stuck with a bunch of level ones in my hand. So like that draw, I had the spirit reaver, the Colossus, the sculptor, the ritual and the Varix embrace. And at that time I was too far behind to have this hand do anything. So if the dark heart lives, I basically play the dark heart. I go um, infernal ritual to kill my rumble move it wherever I would have to move it if I had to move it in any location. And then I have bodies completely filling the board, and then I'm in, like, a, a better spot. But, oh, yeah, yeah, there's and, nothing and I could do. you're getting life that whole time, too. Exactly, but the Dreadbolt was just, like, the, the nail in the coffin. I, like, that was my one out was to play this here and hope you don't have it. So I looked at your list, and I'm like, all right, there's one card that ruins my play. And it's Dreadbolt. <laughs> and then it's just, it happens. That's, that's the way yeah, the game goes. If there's one card that'll ruin your play, your opponent's got it in their hand. Exactly. And that's why I was just like, so that means the odds, like when I said it out loud, because that's exactly how it always works. It's like, all right, I just need to play around them not having this, and then I'm good. And then nine times out of ten, like that is the card. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the great game. That was a lot of fun. Um, oh, yeah. I, I already done reported. I'm surprised that two other games reported before us. Oh, true. Yeah. I'll get back in that room. All right, sounds good.
All right. Um, so that was the end of round two. Um, I just lost that game. Um, so basically, for anyone who didn't watch, it was the Rumble versus Rumble um, or mirror match. Um, unfortunately, in that game, especially with the deck that I have, this deck really needs to go second in that mirror. Um, obviously, that's a 50% chance, so it's like you can't really bank on that. Um, but unfortunately, my opening hand had, like, I think it was like a Spite Hydra, um, a Thundersaur, or something like it wasn't Thundersaur, but it was something like um, not super relevant. Then it was a Necrovive, a Chaining, and a Grave Pact. So, unfortunately, me going first on an empty board, only having the two spells, knowing that in the mirror I need to level my Chaining creatures and my removal, I unfortunately just had to play a Necrovive into an empty board. Then they go Rumble, or Nova Elementalist, um, which is just the, the last thing you want to see in a mirror match. Um, I go Grave Pact to kill my own Chaining to remove that, and then he had the Tortoise Colossus, which is the only... Like, I was looking at the thing, and I'm like, the only way that this really hurts me is if they have an aggressive creature. And unfortunately, that's just sometimes the way it works, um, especially with these lists that have the aggressive creatures. Um, you just got to sometimes take the risk, um, especially if you don't have, like, a really a better route. Um, like, it was one of those things where I was debating just putting a body there versus going for the whole Grave Pact into... Um, the Necrovive, but just the benefit of leveling both of those, like, unfortunately, I just had to go for it. Um, then the next turn, it was just the, the Nova with the ability to potentially flip as long as my Nova doesn't get killed. And unfortunately, it was the Death Current into the, um, what's it called, the Mech Mage. So that was another situation where it's like, that's the reason why I don't really like playing Nova, um, personally. Like, so I, I enjoy playing against it. I enjoy playing it. I think it's a very strong archetype but the mirror is just so 50 50 um and then it's whoever tends to high roll tends to be the person who kind of pulls it out so in that match um it was just one of those things where every time i was looking at my hand i was like in the back i was like i could play this move to try to chump or i could try to go for this and as long as they don't have this one or two cards then i could go through and try to flip and unfortunately it's just once you are in tempo with a nova deck um you tend to keep tempo, um, is what I've found as I go. Um, and I've played against it and played with it. But especially in the mirror, that's kind of the way it goes. So in that situation, it was just one of those games where I had <laughs> no shot, unfortunately. But I'm not saying that in a bad way. It's just that is the nature of the Rumble versus Rumble mirror. Um, I feel like other decks, when you play into Rumble, um, you might have... As, as long as you know how to play against it, you have a little bit of a better shot to try to beat it. Um, where, granted, if I, on the turn one, let's say I had, I was off Forge, I draw Nova and my Chaining Ice Crusher, I could basically play the Nova Ice Crusher to give it aggressive and potentially remove a creature and flip turn one. So it's like, I have abilities and, and ways to flip turn one. A lot of people on their, their own builds have ways to flip turn one. Um... And those are where the game can be really tough. Because as soon as your opponent flips or has the capability to continue to flip, it's just um, it's it's downhill. Because you have to put a lot of resources into blocking and removing a creature that could easily come back. So we'll see how my next round goes. I will likely be playing against another mirror. And we'll see if I end up drawing better. And like I guess the best way to play it, to say it is, when you're playing the mirror, it's very hard to skill your way back into a game if you get high rolled, where I guess when you're playing something like a green purple, you could potentially try to skill your way around some plays to to try to push. Um, that is the reason why I've kind of not been playing Rumble as much lately, is I don't like the coin flip aspect of things. I like to kind of try to win or lose on the merit of my plays, and I feel like, and I'm not saying again that and this has nothing to do with the game that we just played, it's just the, the, the reason why I've not been playing Rumble a lot, and granted my deck is very removal heavy, and it's very um, like tough to, like you've got to stick stuff on the board, um, so yeah, I guess the, the best way to put it is um, the decks with the, the Nova Elementalist and the Dark Hearts and that, that have really strong supporting casts tend to have a good shot to um, stabilize if they don't get the, the flip out of the, the rumble early. Um, but the biggest thing is, um, if you flip early, it just could kind of end the game in the mirror. So we'll see how the next couple rounds go. Um, 
it's something where I've high rolled with this deck. I've high, I've been high rolled with this deck, um, and I think it's fun to play. But it's also tough to have to be on the other side when you're playing the Merics. It's like, oop, I wish I had my Dread Bolt. Oop, I wish I had my removal. And it's like, definitely very much feels like Mono Red versus Mono Red in Magic. Or like like in a, a Ninja versus Ninja matchup in Flesh and Blood or something like that, where everyone's just trying to deal damage to the face. Whoever gets the most damage in their hands tends to to pull that out. Um, so we'll see what, how it goes. Like, I really... But at heart, I am a mid-range player, so we'll see if I still continue to play this versus um, end up playing more mid-rangey decks. Um, but that's why green-purple or stuff of that nature tend to be a little more appealing for me. Just because like in Magic, I would always play like a mid-range or a control. and Flesh and Blood, I would always play more of a mid-range or control, like Guardian, things like that. Um, but what I will say is it's a fun deck to play. It's basically you, you end your game in a few minutes and you still get to kind of hang out and relax between rounds. That's always nice because whenever I go into tournaments playing those mid-range games, it's, you usually go 40, 50 minutes of, of playing and then you're exhausted by the end of the tournament. So, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how the rest of this goes. Um, but it is the risk of playing something like Nova is that it's just sometimes you're going to get just completely destroyed in the mirror. And with everybody playing Nova lately, it's just you, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. So, yeah, th um, let's go into the next round. I'm going to go into the in-between round chat, um, see where things are. I might also go run to get a snack um, just because I don't know how much time is left in the round. So we'll see how that goes, and I will um, jump into the next round as soon as that's ready. as you start using average you are having no meaningful data because average doesn't have an impact you want to look at not I mean, at the average you want to look at i don't agree with that at all yeah. though right because you're going to play against multiple different decks right so you're going to see multiple different things so yeah, yeah mm -hmm. against matchup a it's worse but against matchup b it's better so if if it's statistically above average and it goes against every potential matchup, then statistically it should do better, right? Uh, sure. Now, obviously, you still but have to play the deck look to, at to do that. Statistically, you should do better, but in the, in the actual individual games, not in the aggregate, but the individual games, it's not the average that matters. It's the actual interacting stat distribution. So... When yeah. you, you will find more meaningfulness when you don't dilute the data, and diluting the data with averages doesn't show you as meaningful information. And I just mean, I recognize how complicated that is, that it's too complicated for me to want to engage with. And I'm one of the biggest nerds on the number side trying to engage with this, that eh, that is such a hard thing to meaningfully do. And I'd love to, oh, but meaningfully, it would require... For sure. But I'm convinced that there's a way. There's some equation that you can. It's probably long as fuck and way above my pay grade. But it, it is. It is what ML. It is what Eric is trying to do. Uh, Justice blinded. Yeah. And it I've is. seen his spreadsheet in person. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? What is this, dude? Yeah, what are you Eric doing? Is taking on quite a task there. So you're right that theoretically there is something, but it is. Even once you make it, it is not there's there's not the perfect equation. Uh, yeah. So will, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is you you look for the above average decks and then you look for synergies within those, right? So you have a a higher than average stat line with a bunch of good synergies and you smash those two together and see how it works. So then your creatures on average are bigger, your spells on average hit harder. Yeah. And all I that. mean, it's definitely something that's simpler, yeah, that's doable. Yeah. Um, but I didn't put averages in there because I find that as it it misleads, you're losing out on because mm -hmm. it's not just mm -hmm. average. Because you have to look at per buy your cards across level distribution. It is, yep. yeah. It's just I will never put average stuff in in the collection manager because it tells you less about it than it seems like it would. 
Did, oh, did for you sure. add stats though, Eli? Because I, I kind of wanted like level one, two, three card stats as like a thing there to then so like, yeah, wait well, aggro, you know. Like, what do you want yes, it to yeah. show? Because you have to show one number or three number right if you give three columns level one creatures level two yeah. creatures level three creatures now do you just want me to show because this i can show the average and then average I can show level what one the, health and attack average level two health so we could attack. do that but then it's like also you aren't playing all of your creatures most sure, of the time sure. you're playing only there are often in decks you'll have cards you never play you never want to yeah. play these cards you never end up playing them you don't yeah. know my life <laughs> I do what well, I want. Michael, let him go. Be, I will <laughs> say <laughs> it would be interesting to at least be able to have that data somewhere, even if it's not on the main page, to be able to drill down and say. So, so like, yeah, that would be interesting. There was a site that's broken since set two that would show you for your decks uh, the average on one, two, and three, what those creature stats were. So I, I can throw that in there. And if people want to do that, sure. And I, but it and just I doesn't another... sit well with me because I, I would want more meaningful. Because it's like, you can put average, and then a really meaningful thing is, what is your standard deviation on that? like, And then what is that compared to? Uh, uh, like, what's the variance on your creatures then? It's like, but even then. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I would also be interested in seeing what are the high ends of either one. Maybe low ends too, but especially the high ends. So it, uh, for a meaningful thing to show stats, uh, one thing I've wanted to do, and I, you'll notice, like, I haven't really made any updates to the collection manager because it's functional and it took me a long time to get it there. But individual deck analysis pages, which go into more detail on the individual decks, is where I'm more likely to add stuff like that. Yeah. Um because it's already what there's like 40 something columns in this collection manager. It's, it's quite already unruly to add. Uh, and I would want to have health and attack. It's separate. It's much harder to do like a, yeah, yeah. That thing where it's a number slash another number in the Excel No, no, you want to be able to sort them separately. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. absolutely. And then so then I'm already to be able to see formula. averages and also maxes, I think would be useful. Like, I don't know why anyone would try to build a deck around Glorf Glob and or Doom Drake, but if hey, one would, it'd be hey. nice to be able to sort and find highest attack and highest health of all you know in all your decks. Like yeah, and then so what, do you want the the two creatures, the creature with the highest attack and the creature with the highest health? Do you want the creature with the highest total? What does that look like across the three level distributions? Because level one is different than level two, level two is different than level three, level three is just different. Just give than us level all four. of it, Eli. It'll be fine. Well, well yeah, no, that, what I would do is I would, just, I would sort by the if I was given the a column that said highest, like what is the highest health creature in this deck and another column that said what is the average health in this deck i would sort by each and then i would look at those decks and i would see which one seems like a good pair for what i'm trying to build like i just but, offload a lot of the calculation to my own mind but it would it would give me decks to start with instead of combing through all my decks and saying oh which ones have the highest health creatures that also fit so this. when you have one card is the highest health for level one one card is the highest health for level two, and one card is the high, and a different card is highest health for level three. Do right. I should I have a level one column, a level two column, a level three column to show those? Ideally, or, yeah, I would want to see right. all three levels. Okay, so then, so now I'm adding uh, the average for each level for both stats. So that's six. The highest mm -hmm. for both stats, so that's another six. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm now I'm adding twelve columns that just deal with this. That some of that it's there's there's I can and it's it's also made with if you I mean you could do that you could add that I mean that the info is all in here to to create that stuff. Um, oh, the stats are in the. Yeah, I was gonna say, Eli, if you're too busy, man, some of us would want this. So yeah, it'd be helpful. Yeah, I mean, if you could show us how to get I, that out. I could, if the stats yeah. are in there, I could, I could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't yeah, know so it was in there. stats are in are in the uh, spreadsheet yeah. somewhere. If you look at the, um, yeah, where. I'll be real. There's columns on there right now that I've never used. I'm like, oh man. 
is still already too much data. Yeah, well, maybe there should be like a second page that has like the. If you look at the so there is all there, the point of the collection manager was get something to a point, and if people wanted to do stuff with it, they can, and all that d data is in there. It's just very unruly to deal with. So, okay. uh, which well, I could think of it, yeah, and I want to say just kudos to you for building this thing. Like these are like we're asking for cherries on the top. I use this thing all the time, and it's fucking brilliant. So. Thank you for doing what you did. Yeah, but my point, yeah. So I I appreciate that, and so it's like people can do that. I, it's it just takes initiative on on them, and it's like I will take time to go through the collection manager and show what all the pieces go together. There's hidden sheets in there. If you click on the little three lines next to each other, next to the tabs, you can see what the hidden pages are, and I believe it's called card database. Um, which will show uh, it goes through every creature, every modifier on all of those things. It shows them what the attack, the health, the text on level one, two, and three are for all the categories as well. And this is everything that the sheet references. And you can go, if you go into um, extensions in, uh, in the top row, you know, with file edit view, if you go to extensions and you hit app scripts, you can go and look at what all the code is doing. Um, okay, so awesome. all that all right, stuff well, is maybe we could take a deeper dive later. I don't want to derail the uh, tournament with this now. But again, thank you. And yeah, I'm I'll, interested to do Colin. I'll, I'll start look, poking around yeah. there for sure. Yeah, thanks, Eli. Oh, we're all in. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we're in. I wish this updated where I didn't have to um, refresh. It refresh every time, yeah. <laughs> all right, finalize this round. Uh, oh, before I move to the next round. So I have that Nate won, Rusty won, yep. Ben won, yep. Eric won, yes. and Rachel won. Uh, yeah, Paul and Rachel, can I get a confirmation? Yeah, on that? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Zoe won. Don't forget. Yes, Zoe <laughs> won hers. All right, uh, round three is up. I'll give a few minutes, and then uh, we'll be. Oh the time. boy. Hmm. Okay. Good luck, y'all. Yeah. Have fun. All right, let's think it's us, Rusty. It is us. All right, see you there. Yep. Well, 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 look who it is. What's the cat coughed up? <laughs> How you doing? Not too bad. How you doing? doing I see right. you joined the dark side. Congratulations. Yeah, honestly, I wanted to play the deck I played yesterday again, but um, I woke up like super late. And I was like, you know what would be really nice today? A bye. <laughs> so <laughs> that yeah. is fair. Yeah, because like I woke up, I was like hanging out, and Liz was like, "Wait, don't you have a thing at noon?" And I'm like, "Oh fuck, it's eleven oh, thirty. I was like, "I still got to shower. I still got to eat. I still got to do all this stuff." So I started doing <laughs> stuff like she microwaved me bagel bites while she was getting ready to go like to hang out with her sister at the pool and stuff. And like it's like her or not her sister, her um sister and her friends. Um, yep. So um yeah, so they're all out at her friend's house and like i was just like oh no like i could just like eat bagel bites while i'm trying to play or i could just I could get be a watching buy. netflix or youtube what the fuck is going yeah, on here exactly like during the first round i was kind of just like walking around doing everything i needed to do and i was just like all right whatever um do you want to make the room by the way or do you want me to yeah i got it up uh password is one two three per usual awesome oh man so this is my least my least won matchup is into the Rumble Dark Heart because I'm missing a Dark Heart. I feel you. Right, here we go. And then, yeah, I know um, I played against Ruder last round. Um, yep. And I got high rolled <laughs> real hard. It was a good game, yeah, though. Yeah. He tends to do that. He's a little scumbag like that. <laughs> All right, let me get my... He's the dude that was in your chat yesterday. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, yeah. I've, I've, I've definitely played against both of you guys before. Um, uh, yeah, dude. so see, first of all, that the, the his message yesterday cursed you, and then it also <laughs> cursed me today. That's right. 
Yeah, but like I ended up like in our game, I was going first, and um, I had a Necrovive, a Chaining Ice Crusher, a Grave Pact, a Spirit Reaver, and I forget what the last card was, but it was I think a Spite Hydra. And I was like, dang. So like my only move was to play Necrovive into with nothing on the board to play the Ice Crusher to level up both of those to then Grave Pack oh whatever he God. played. And I'm like, all right, at least I could get through this turn hopefully. And then he goes Nova first, and I'm like, fuck. As, if he, as long as he doesn't have the Tortoise Colossus, I'm okay. I'm in danger. And then I killed the Nova, and then he goes Tortoise Colossus, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, at that point, I was just like, all right, yeah. um, I don't have a chance. Um, but It's like any time that happens turn one, it's like, fuck. Yeah. Oh, I'm first. Oh, excellent. Poopy. But, yeah, that's like specifically the oh, reason my. why I don't like playing um, Nova is yep. because it's just like sometimes it's just you're going to high roll someone, sometimes you'll get high rolled, and then sometimes you have that kind of game, but it's like when the yeah, it's, game's... It's, like you're yeah. saying, about one third of the games are good, and then everything else is just like, oh, well, that happened. All right. Exactly. Moving on. Because like me drawing this right away like gives me a, a strong chance right now, you know what I mean? You got aggressive stuff? Um, I think chaining. Oh, ice you got the ice crusher. The only one that's aggressive. Dude, chaining is so good. Yeah. With Nova, I know because it's just free. Summoning counter. I don't pass too. Oh. Oops, I was streaming, but I forgot to click the gameplay button to actually get us oh. into the game. <laughs> so here, let me just quickly look at your decks again, so people who are watching can see. Yep. Hello, people at home. <laughs> and here's the other side. Yeah, that was my fault. Because like between when the rounds are so long in between, like sometimes I forget that. Oh yeah, I'm still streaming too. If I'm streaming. <laughs> All right, and then I'm playing this. All right, so the question is: Am I willing to take seven here? Probably seven. So what I'm gonna what? do is I will play the chaining ice crusher and then because I Oh play... and then great okay, yeah, 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 great bang. Goodbye, friend. Alright, so I'm taking seven. Five, two, three, what is that? And then we flip. Big boy. I think at this point do I actually just drop it in an open lane? So that's gonna keep getting bigger. Can't tell you I love your life, man. I know. You're right. Um, and I can't depend on that immediately flipping back right now. So we're just going to go. Here, let me just make sure you don't have that. Oh, I've got it. You do. No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go here. Right on. Uh, sir, back row, please. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> All right, now let me hit the button. All right. That was a legal play. I respect it. <laughs> All right, so I think what we have to do is just start with probably this. That's not going to help. I need to level this. So, I guess I could go here instead of that. That you're going to have to block. That's what you think. That's true. That's very true. I ain't scared of that thing. Much. That. And that. That. I do think then to be safe, I probably have to do this first. And that's more important for later. So I'm going to replace the Chaining Ice Crusher with your Ronti Elementalist. Free spell! And unfortunately, it's going to hit a Wisp, but we're going to... No, I'll get the torch. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, you said it! All right, You're right, I did say it. And I meant it. <laughs> all right, that's um, all I got. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
a furious shard back and pass mm -hmm. to your worst criminal. And this also gets plus one, plus one. Yeah, big boy. I think we have to go this and be willing to take more damage. This might be the enemy. <laughs> Yay! Um, I mean, oh no, please. I guess we're gonna go. Have mercy. He's just a boy. Or shambler. shambler. Cool. And it's you. Okay. Hey, Nova Elementalist. Yeah. I know there was a shot you had it. Activate. Burn. All right. Uh, c -c -c combat. All take right. three. Yep. Ouch. And then I'll take, take one more. One, two, three, four. Ow. This will die. I gain one. Take, take seven, seven sucker. Yay. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm first. Oh, uh, sorry, this flipped. Yeah, you're good. <coughs> it's technically cheating. Murder. Yeah, alright, and then... Oh, wait, he goes up here. I take one. Ow! I get one. Pass to you, sir. And I'm debating which lane I want to put this in. Shouldn't do that, you go blind. I wish this was back row. Or True. this. That'd be way better for me. Here, I think I want this. Probably go this lane. And then. So we've got that. I could throw this out. Don't do it. Think of the children. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. Let me do math. Hmm. I could kill it. But the question is, do I give a crap? <laughs> I think the answer is not really. And I'll pass to you. Oh. Yeah, so I think I've got to do this. Take. Go spite Hydra here. Spite so Hydra is destroyed. Who? Hmm? <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's what I got. So I'm taking eight. Yep. Just take uh, eight. That's a dead shard bag. All right. Fun turn. Excellent turn. Everybody's happy. I'm Except not for thrilled. me. Yes, you are. Oh, I've been so tired of my whole life. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got to go.
Okay, so we're going to start with a, a rock free Elementus. spell. I'm going to drop a flame sculptor seal here. Three damage. And I'll deal three damage. Hey! That was uncalled for. Yeah. I'm the worst. But gosh, gosh darn it, do I respect it. <laughs> Alright, to you. Um, I'm going to put the shard back here. That's Add three great. damage to everybody. And then kill these two. Actually, no. This one can stay alive. Kill this one and this one. Get out of here. Right. And I'll you. Decisions, decisions. Gonna take some damage. It's gonna work. Oh, this got plus one, plus one. Yes. I always forget that. Stupid plant. Play Whoa. a Shambler there and then pass. Whoa. Oh, he's got stealth. That's pretty cool. No, I can't kill it yet, because then you'll get it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Nope. Wrong card. Everybody's got two armor. Yay. Yeah. It's the only one that's relevant on, though. All right. So, uh, you're so then. Seven plus five, so you're taking 12. Take... Oh, yeah, he doesn't take any. So you'll take 20. Yep, I got a 10. And this will flip. Which at this point, this has got to go here. Ba -da -da, ba -da -da, ba -da. Y'all. Good to go. Let's fighting love. Um Alright, let's start with a vine lash. So this will fight this. Okay. So they'll fight. This will die. I'll gain two, you lose two. Well, that'll happen after damage, yep. but yeah, then everything will take three. Three, yep. And I gain two, you lose two. Ow! Mm. And... I'll pass Let's... Freaking... Vine Lash is such a good card. So it's seven out of ten. First. Is that worth it? I could there and then that's a lot of damage to take. I think that is the move. The question is which one? Probably that. Yeah, I guess we're going to start with a Virix Embrace to do Virix. four to this, I gain four. Ouch. And then I'll activate my ability to deal four, gain four. And then two. Okay. Um... Hmm. 
And activate here. Yep. I'll leave the charge. Yeah. And then do it again. All right. And I'll pass to you. Dang. You couldn't even play the creature that I need you to play. <laughs> so I have the chaining into disintegrate. That is not going to help me. So now I'm going to have to take eight. I can. Play that or hmm. no matter what I do here it's gonna die. I don't think I can risk taking nineteen, can I? So this I'm gonna have to throw That doesn't even die if I do that. I'm thinking for one sec about where I'm going to put this. No worries. No worries. If I do that, I take eight. I have to chump. I think this is still the card I have to level. This. Eventually, gonna have to block this again. See, because if I actually had enough to kill this, I could have rolled the dice and hoped that yeah. I could draw the Necrovive, but I don't think I even have any hard removal that's leveled because I haven't even seen the Dry Bolt and I haven't seen the Dark Heart. The Disintegrate doesn't help me here. So really, my only bet is to not take 19, unfortunately. So I guess I'll play the Chaining Ice Crusher. I will not play a spell because I don't want to disintegrate my own guy. Um, and then I'll take 8. Ah. Fair turn. So I guess I have to go this and that before you can do anything. Hey. I'll drug bolt the guardian. Let me respond. And I'll play a free necro vibe because you have more creatures. And then to you. Resolves. Uh, play Torgmai over here in Africa. Play Dark Heart. And then to you. I think I got you. Excuse Mantis aggressive. activate. Yep. Yep. Yeah, nothing I could do there. Nope. Stupid dark heart. And this also gets plus two, plus two, because you played a creature in the back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big boy. Big boy. All right, so I take 20. Go to negative eight. Oof. Well, good game. Yeah. You got it. That was really unlucky. Not seeing the dark heart until... Yeah. Cycle two, turn three. It sucks. I think that's how my my first game went too. I missed the dark heart cycle one. I missed the dreadbolt cycle one. I missed what else? I did hit the it's necrovive the second time. Um, and I did see the Iran brutal three. man. The problem is, it's just like there's a lot of really good spells here, and like I level up what I can during cycle one, and that's like I've been not seeing them in cycle two. Um, yeah, I mean drawing a dreadbolt in cycle two when there's. The only real threat is a level two on the board. You're like, yeah. Oh god. And it's like the only reason I was able to kind of do anything was just because I had the necrovive in hand too. Yep. Yeah, I think I mean the necrovive definitely hurt. I was like, well, ow. Yeah. But the, the mantis there is definitely gonna do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, GG's. Yeah, good games for sure. And like it was funny because it's like as long as like as long as you don't have aggressive, I could get through this <laughs> turn. And I'm just curious before I get out of this round what my next fight. Oh no, because it would have been. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. look. Let's look. Yeah. If I could have lived, would have I even had a shot? The answer is probably no. Um, oh, nope. no. No. Yeah. You're dead as fuck. <laughs> yeah, because it's like my only options to play in this hand were these two, and everything else was level one. So I got that and the spike carapace oh, and yeah. the lightning. Oh, 100%. Oh, man. Yeah, there's nothing oh, I could have done. All right, well, great we're game. We're going to have some, some juicy boys. Oh, yeah. 
But yeah, GG's, GG's. It, uh, sure. Sucks you didn't get a good draw. No, I feel bad for you. No, I don't mind at but all. It, well, I do. <laughs> That's I the, don't feel good about that. Um, the thing is, it's like I had the flip on turn one, and mm-hmm. it's just then I couldn't follow up with anything. And then yeah, I mean, if you had drawn that dark card at any point during that turn, I was so fucked. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, and then those lead the charges are so good against or with your your shard. Back oh too. yeah, it's such a stupid combo. I think that's why Christy was so upset about it. Cause <laughs> yeah, when you I, hit, you hit. I did it to her like three times in one game. That's so good. Uh, yeah, and like chill. honestly, like at least this solidifies that like this list is not the list I want to play. Um, because it's like it's been a while since I've played it, and it's just I have noticed, and I don't know if this is just me being playing a lot of games and just seeing trends that don't exist. But I feel like every time that I've played like decks, I feel like there's one or two cards I never see every time I play them. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I feel like Dark Heart, I never see when I play this deck until the, the late in the game. I feel like there was another deck I was playing where like I don't see, um, what was it? Um, I think it was like a, a removal piece or like a creature piece. Like my Furious Shard back deck, I never hit Furious Shard back on single one. And it's like, yep. It's just one of those things where it's like, I think you notice it when it happens, but like... It kind of leads you to wonder if there's something in the code, because I, I have the exact same thing with that red-green deck that has a bunch of breakthrough and all the exalts and everything going on. Yeah. I never see the Mustic Megath at level 2 or 3. Yeah. Like, almost no. I've played it one time, maybe, at level 2. And otherwise, I'd never see it. And it's always buried in the bottom 5, and I'm like, well... I mean, if it was like one or two games, but I played like 20 games. Oh, for sure. And I've only played that thing once. I'm like, there's got to be something going on here. Yeah, I know there was a point when the mod came out where they were like the same card is always on the bottom or something like that. And like, I think they fixed that issue. Um, Mm -hmm. It is something that one day I'm just going to sit there and like pick a couple decks and then just like continually just start games and cycle through and see. Like, I'll just mark every card from 1 to 20 and see when stuff shows up and if there's cards that just don't or likely don't you know what i mean yeah Um, because i mean you just intern 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 oh for sure and like there's also a part of me that wonders like because obviously you pick a first deck and a second deck when you fuse your decks together and it's like Mm -hmm. oh if i'm always missing dark heart which might be card eight in my second deck if i if i swap the fuses does that mean i'm going to dismiss like oh yeah that's a good point instead so it's like i wonder if that's something where it's like if that makes it, yeah. Difference. I wonder if it does do that. If it pulls like red first, then green. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's weird. So actually, let's do a quick test. So if you reset the mod, um, and yeah. then what we'll do is we'll bring our decks in and let's just swap the positions of these two and just, just for sure fly for through sure. some turns and let's just see if there's cards that you feel like you never see that show up or don't. Okay. Okay, I'm down for this. But for science. For science. Goodbye, Rumble. Goodbye, you. All right. Watch, this is going to completely break the game. It's like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> you want to, like, actually play it out? It's or just Yeah, we can play skip, a game skip. if you'd like, or if we could skip. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do yeah, it. Let's have some fun. Uh, how much time do we have? We still have probably... 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, If you want to submit the results, by the way, so they don't wait for us. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, already done. Awesome, good stuff. I don't remember if I did it or not. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm first. Oh, good luck, have oh, fun. No. Yeah, you too. Good luck, have fun around two. <laughs> As I'm being a scumbag right off the bat. Oh goodness. Um, I think in this matchup... Necro vibe. Probably need to level this before. Actually, it's probably this. No, we'll disintegrate it. (gasps) You monster. This idiot. Disintegrate that, sucker. All right, fair enough. (laughs) That's starting bet. Oh, and a Varix off the bat. Look at you. Now, Dark Heart Nova in one hand. Nope, never mind. 
This idiot. This is how my deck does removal. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> this is, so the thing is, like, half the games this deck does that, and then half the games it just doesn't. Jaw blocker. Stupid, I hate this card. Yeah. Oh. Dang it. Uh. This. Pasty. And also, yeah, this game's just for funsies now. Um, Ruder just yeah. asked. Um, what? Is he watching your stream? He just jumped on. God damn it, Ricky. <laughs> All right, let's see. So in this match... I think it's stupid. Dinosaurs aren't beasts. That is true. That's a really good point, because this looks like a beast. Yeah. Uh-oh. Two... Oh, wait, uh, I'm an idiot. That doesn't even help me there. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I still just have to drop it there. It's not a bad spot. Um, It's still not a bad spot, but it doesn't flip it. But I think that's fine. I don't care. What is this hostility? Alright, then to you. Alright, this is a problem. Problem that must be dealt with. It's just how do I want to deal with it? Well, I want to use this, but that's not a thing. Alright. That is interesting, though, that I did happen to see the Dark Heart in the first round of this. <laughs> I'm going to have to activate yeah. this. Deal yep. two to everything. Then I'm going to Vine Lash your Dark Heart. Takes one, two, three, four, and then two to everything. And then, yeah, it explodes. And I'll pass to you. Fucking Dark Heart. I knew it! I knew it was coming. God damn it. <laughs> right, so I'm taking six. Uh, you get a free spell. No, I, I didn't play a spell first. What? I played Dark Heart. Oh, yeah, you played Dark Heart. That's right. That's right. Ow. Jerk. Um, hey, look, we both flip. Uh, I have Forge, so I go first, sir. Hmm? I have, I get to pick my placement first. Oh, you're first. right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot you yours was even to respond there. to it. See, that's another cheeky interaction where it's like, oh, well, since I have Forge, I have to do mine first. So you can put yours right in front of mine if you felt like it. I do think that might be what I have to do. But see, I don't want you to do that. If I do that, then this could deal two potentially. That's fine. I just need to hope that I hit some removal. Let's fighting love. For what it's worth. I hope you don't hit removal. I respect it. <laughs> no, that's mean. <laughs> um, I guess we have to start with... I'll activate to deal for gain for... That deals two yep. damage to your whole board, just so you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> I did it! Um, and then we're going to... Brave Pack this to kill your rumble. Well, that wasn't nice. Well, I'm going to leave that right there. And then two. Hmm. I'll play. Play this here. And pass to you, sir. Just to let you flip. So I'll just dreadbolt that. <gasps> Monster. I almost Dude. put that back in my hand. <laughs> Play this. Yeah. Activate. Activate. 
Yeah. Murder. Combat. Oh, Poke. Slain, I take two. You get your guy. Yay. I did it. Gone, but not forgotten. Holy shit. I wonder how many spells I've played. Probably not many. One. Woo, big boy. <laughs> Pass to you. I'll go Dark Heart, Free Necro Uh-oh. So I gain three. You lose three. You killed my keeper. And you bastard! Where did I put my... Oh, it's probably in my graveyard, actually. Oh, my God. Yes, graveyard? Is. What game is this? Or my banishment, I mean. <laughs> um, I'll throw this. Where do we actually care more? I think we're going... We'll go here. All right, and then two. Hmm. Something tells me you're going to do something mean. Which I don't necessarily appreciate. So. I'll play Nova. Deal four to your dark heart. I'll activate this. Deal three to all of it. Pass to you. Definitely gonna die, so I try to get advantage of that. We'll live with that there. I guess we'll play Infernal Ritual. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice this. I'll take three. So you'll take a total of six so after all the, the stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'll go... I'll have aggressive, so we'll go zombie. Aggressive zombie, AF. And then this I'll drop here. You will gain six life points. Yep. And now I'm you're going to lose six. six life points. <laughs> One, two, three. Oof. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was. Oh, sorry. I'm going for it. I'm sitting here waiting for you to do something. <laughs> Dude, I do this shit all the time. Um, like, bro, what are you doing? I, I was getting dog. I think it was a good five minutes. I was sitting there. He was like, "Man, it's a good thing you're going first. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, definitely." Um, let's see. So this <laughs> Ruder said to watch your profanity. <laughs> Shut um, up, Ricky. So you've got the stuff, so you're gonna kill... <laughs> this is a family channel. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Christian Minecraft server. Uh, the fact that you have that Nova out, too, makes this really tough. Yeah, big uh, boy. So I think I just have to do this and then let my thing die. Yeah. Great, but anything else I play will be tough. I guess I'll Barracks Embrace to take the shard back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And two. Hmm. You ruined my plan. Was it lead the charge? Mm hmm. Jerk. You know it. 
Um, all right. Let's just find Lash that idiot. Yeah. Past you. Man, I was going to hit you for so much damage. You have no idea. Yeah. I, I'm so scared. Well, you should have been. Yeah. And the funny At thing is... At one point in time. Um, so this will die to your Nova. This will die when you play Lead the Charge. I feel like every time I have Disintegrate in my hand lately, it's when people have their spells to remove my stuff and they don't play stuff. Yeah. Um, That's the one drawback to Disintegrate. Yeah, I agree. But the problem with this deck as well is that it doesn't really build a board presence with all its removal. <laughs> and actually, what is that? But actually, what I'll, is I'll plop that? that here. It's not long for this world, sir. Not at all. all right, then to you. Now, do I do it the fun way or the right way? Both. Por qué no los dos? All right, let's do it the right way. Yes. Nuke it. Lead the charge. Nuke it. Yeah. Six, right? Yeah. Good. And then. So I'm taking. Twenty-five. Yep. Yay! I'm the best. <laughs> woot woot. Whoop. We did it. What is this? Army commander. That's illegal. Yeah. Oh how'd, my god. Wait, how'd you know it was illegal? Because I can read good. Three. It's a low number. I think the odds of me not dying are almost zero. That's what I like to hear. I mean, I no. Guess, so I have Varys Embrace. I'll deal. Gotta be that. Six gain six. This is an elemental now. What? I did yeah. it. You're going to do something stupid here. I know you are. But I don't care. Yes. I don't care. Activate this. Two or three. Murder. So I'm in the process of taking enough to die. I guess technically I could live if I bring this back. But the only thing I could kill is that. So I'll gain eight more. So I'm just going to put myself out of my misery. I'll deal three there. And I'm taking 24, 38. I am dead. Victory. <laughs> also, I get this bang. True. GG's. Good game for <laughs> sure. Uh, I... I didn't notice a significant difference in what I drew. In fact, no, if sure. anything, it stabilized my draw a little bit. No, for sure. Which is interesting. Like, I did see some cards that I hadn't been seeing for the other games. Like, I hadn't been seeing my dark card at all. Um, I feel like I haven't seen most of my removal. Like, I think Varix Embrace I saw through, like, once in the, the entire yeah. game. So it's, like, it's probably just, like, it. I wonder. It's something that I'll have to do just, like, a ton of games of just refresh, refresh, refresh. Um, but your deck is yep. nasty. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I think Big dumb idiots. My green purple one definitely has a much better shot than this one. Um, yeah. Me for stupidly wanting a buy instead of just eating <laughs> while I played. Well, you know, <laughs> live and you learn. Oh, uh, yeah. No, but it was one of those things as well. I haven't played this in so long. I wanted a, a change of scenery as well, a little. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, but my big thing is it's like. I'm not thrilled with any of my Nova decks. I have a ton of Dark Heart decks that I like, but it's just all my Novas are kind of eh. Like, this one here is great with this specific pairing because of all the spells it has and, like, the yep. the Aranti and the Chaining, but the problem is it's just it doesn't keep enough on the board. So it's like, if I draw a hand where I have to go, like, Necrovive, Dreadbolt, and then you play another creature, it's like, okay, well then, 
now what do I do? Because it's like I gotta well, level shit. up my spells, and I've gotta continually um, what's it called? Um, make sure I have threats on the board. So it's get like, establish the board, yeah. Yeah, and that's the problem where that doesn't establish a board. It's like it's one or the other. Where I could play the like stuff like the Spirit Reaver or something to try to like n- like get away a little bit at health. Um, but it's yep. just yeah, it's just like I play the Shambler, it's gonna get killed because it's one of the only things worth removing. You play the Nova, it's gonna get killed, and then the Dark Hearts are gonna get killed. So yep. it's like so like cycle one with this deck, I have a very hard time removing a Dark Heart. But anytime after that. Oh, yeah. You play a dark card, it's instantly dead. I'm like, no, 100%. thank you. I don't want that. That's scary. Yeah. But I love your deck. Like, um, I'm interested to see, because I know, I think we've only played my green purple versus this one once, correct? Th- yep. Yesterday? Correct. Yep. I'm interested to see how that would go with multiple games, because, like, I feel like I didn't see the Stentinel against me. Um, and I did see the shard back yesterday, I feel like, but yep. I was able to remove it somewhat effectively. Yeah, so like targeted removal, like your Dread Bowl, your Neck Revive, perfect. Easy, hard counter against this. But like Virix against it, it always oh, feels yeah. bad. You're like, oh no, my board. Yeah, the Virix, the Disintegrate, the Seal, like the, um, what's it called? Life Drain. Like a lot yep. of this stuff where I was like, oh, that's at four, but now I have to kill the Shard back and then take three on all my creatures. It's yeah. rough. And then the next Shard back pops out right behind and goes, all right, let's do it again. Oh, yeah. And it's like I was in a situation where every time I had the removal for your rumble was when I was on Forge. So you were able to place it. Like, so I kill the rumble, you place it somewhere where I'm like, I can't kill the other thing yep. as well. And like, granted, maybe I could have like like reorganized the way I did some of my moves, but it was just like still like it's it's really hard for I think this one to keep up if they can value stuff away of mine. Because so it's like I yep. need to be able to, to chump lock and remove, chump lock and remove. And but yeah, any extra damage. activation you get on a shard back oh, after the first so one, so good. That's free money right there. Oh, and I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm jealous you have that with that whole list. Yeah, too. this this deck is stupid. Like, not even the green half. The green half is oh, it's okay, but the so, red half is just like so Jesus Christ. What's bringing you into this specific green half? Like, what uh, cards are the ones that you want to be seeing? This is what I had. Oh, true. That was it. So what you should do, obviously, like you probably won't have time to silver something before Worlds if this is the deck you want to play, but you should look through my collection, and if there's anything you like that I'm not playing, I'd be happy to try to trade it um, if it's something you feel like would pair with this that you want to, to do. Yeah, for sure. I was So I've been meaning to go through and look, since I, I've got probably three or four hundred more decks since then, oh, and nice. then there's like you, Hellkite, Nate, everybody, like for the most part, everybody knows everybody. So oh, for sure. Just just looking through and being like, "Yo, I see you have this. This is my wet dream of a deck. What do you want?" For <laughs> it? Let me see if I have anything off the top uh, that I could think of. Cause, like, I know. I assume, see, like, like, at the end of the day, do you want to go red green or do you want to go more of like a, gr- a green, a red purple, or is it just no? Nah, definitely red green because purple has that stigma with it and the dark heart and oh, I, just, for sure. I feel bad like having somebody work to kill the rumble spark and then it okay. just pops right back don't up feel bad. that's that's the nature of the card well uh, yeah yeah but it's also in my opinion kind of scummy so i'm like ah, oh, i don't want i don't it doesn't feel good when it happens to me so i don't want to do that to somebody else so i do actually um hold on school meanwhile I, i'll just punch people in the face for a thousand damage and be like well you know that's the game you know what I do have? Um, I do have a Betrayer Dark Heart in green, so you could play green red and still have the Dark Heart. <laughs> <laughs> no. I know. I'm just. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh um, my god! What is that? So actually, do you, do you, know you what? actually have that? I do. I, I got one off eBay a while ago. <laughs> the rest of the deck's okay. It's not like great or anything. So I do have a deck that um, I was actually. I think I was showing this to. Um, um Ike's Ninja and I'm gonna send this to you. Um so let me jump into the messages and hit send. So it's interesting. I don't know if it's like necessarily a perfect match, but it's got Let's take a look uh, Betrayer Fire Fist your anti, which could ping your own shard back to do more damage. It's got the uh-huh. lead the charge, it's got the vine lash, it's got a hunter. It's got a tangle sprout for extra. So it's like this and one's a mauler silly. for more breakthrough. Yeah. 
So it's, it's like not I, bad. Because I know he was looking for something for like that pings itself, and I was like, oh, this has a ways to ping, and I guess technically late in the game, if you can get your level 3 Fire Fist out, that could also technically be a win condition. Um, although it's like you need ways to pump it to really get benefit out of that. So that's one that like... The Hunter is interesting because that does a battle effect, and battle is really good yeah. with the shard back. So this was one I sent him as like, a, oh, this might not be bad for um, your um, potential, what's it called? Um, shard back. Yeah, for sure. For sure. My, I like it. My shard back, I know I have paired with this one. Here, I'm going to send you another link. So I have a Furious shard back without a Nova. Um, oh, there you go. This one actually wouldn't be horrible for for your list either, I don't think. Um, Hit that. me with it. Hit me with your best shot. So this one's got a hunter as well. It's got a vid. So you can technically ping your own thing. Oh, it's got a vid Icarus. <laughs> a betrayer vid. <laughs> no way. Um, and a and pack it, hunter. Pack hunter is really good. And, and patriarch's got, binding. The lash, the binding, Ooh. it's got a nest. So it's like, this is what I had paired with my, um, what's it called, shard back. Um, but it just, again, like that's a deck that's fun, but like when you miss the shard back, it's just like, eh. So I don't yeah. play it very often, but I play it every once in a while. But like being able to be like Patrix binding, and then you could get a spell sprite out of that. And then you could also like lead the charge or shard back or vid away all their um, their wisps. So it's like, this one's got a lot of tools. It's just the, the life gain is all limited to a soothing bar talk. And an elk, but the swamp yep. moss, if you could get it for free, obviously feels nice. See, I I don't do life gain at all with mine. I'm like, life is a resource. Hit me, hit yeah. me, sucker. Exactly. But if you can get that swamp moss out for free, it feels good. Oh but, yeah, for sure. Well, uh, especially with a Uteridon nest. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It's like holy crap. Yeah. Oh, so, like the betrayer Vidicus. That is so. Oh, sick. I know. That's that's why I paired those because I was like, what's a way for me to damage my own thing? Um, but. I'm trying to think what else. So <laughs> I'm looking so specifically funny. at lead the charge in my thing, and I've got. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, but you don't have dark hearts. So that's not going to matter because I do have a, um, betrayer grave pact in a deck with a forge seal and a lead the charge, and a mystical rex. That's actually. You know what? I'm going to send you this one. It's not horrible. It's wow. not great. But the grave pact is only really good when you could immediately flip your thing again. Um, yep. So that's another one that's interesting. Um, or Rex, yeah. Rex is good, because, again, that's another battle effect. Yeah. Oh, and it's got a Druid for the mirror match. Lead the charge, Vine Lash, Forge Seal. So that replaces the Mantis, essentially. Basically, all the Mantis is just infinitely better, because it's like having the body, if someone's able to remove yep. your board and you're stuck with the Forge Seal and nothing to play on it. Um, See, mine is... My Mantis is cool because it's the shifting. So yeah. at level two, it's a five, and then you activate it, and it becomes an eight six, aggressive right off the bat. Like, mm -hmm. oh shit, that's actually a creature. What the hell? Oh, you know what I have actually that I forgot about. Um, what's the Ice Lance? Ice Lance Mages. So I do have a Betrayer Mangus in green as well, but it How? doesn't have a lead the charge. I mean, I actually, the charges. Oh, well, I have. Cool. I didn't realize I had two Betrayer Iceland's Manguses in green. What? <laughs> How many decks have you opened, sir? Over two thousand. Oh my god! I have a problem. I don't know if it's a problem. Um. All right. Let me get the other one too. All Spirit Charm. Oh, this one has an Uterra Charger and a Mangus. But the other one, the one I was about to send you, but it's... I don't think either of these are super great for the archetype, specifically. Another minimum... Oh, Glowhive Nursery. That card is surprisingly good. Oh, I love it. I Especially, a... like, with a Patriarch's Binding. Oh, yeah. I do have a Betrayer Glowhive Nursery in every color. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The one I have in purple is one that I have... Jesus Christ. I also have two Betrayer Lysian Reigns with a Nyx that I've played in Forge Shield Mantis decks that are fun. Um, you any Betrayer Omnis? I have one, and I bought it for $200 from KC Kid. 
It's That's a hard too much me. dollars. The thing is, though, it paired very well with the deck I wanted to play. Um, Which one is it? Let me. I'll send you the fuse. It's like really fun to play. It's actually it's been so long since I played it too. Um, is it silver? Yeah. Dude, you should have brought it out. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking of it. Um, Dude, if I had Betrayer on me, that's the only thing I would ever think about. True. I just played it for a while for a point and then haven't played it since. But Maybe bring that back. That would uh, shake up the meta a little bit. I don't think it's good enough in this meta. You're crazy. But I played it with a Shambling Shambler deck. That I was like, because right, basically the green half is solid. It's like, it's got a hardened Omni, which is the worst of the Omnis, unfortunately. But it's basically got a bunch of ways to fight, a bunch of cards that are going to die easily, and it's got like ways to make minions and stuff. So it's like, I can play uh -huh. the Splicer, have itself kill itself for the Shambling Shambler, which will trigger the Brood Fang. And it's like, there's a lot of ways for me to like just push damage, but it just doesn't have a lot of removal except for fighting. And that's why it just wasn't the greatest to play. And there's also not yeah. really ways to play any free spells in this, except for the Zerus will sometimes. But it's a lot Which... of fun. Like, I would bring it out in person, and everyone would be like, oh my gosh, like, that's a Betrayer Omni. And then, like, we'd talk about it for, like, a few minutes before the round every time. And, like, the Harden <laughs> Omni does look like it should be in green. Are you like... one before we do next round? Oh, sorry. Well, yeah. We're just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Cool. That's all good. Uh... Okay, well. We were slow playing ours and, and seeing fun and cool interactions. Sorry, everybody. Yeah, sorry. We were just hanging out. But we, we, we reported, now. though, so we shouldn't have been holding it up, I hope. No, no, no. I just okay. wanted to get uh, before I made the next round. Uh, so pairings are up. I'll start it in a few minutes, uh, let you guys get set up. And then we will see how a top cut goes. And hopefully it's a smooth top cut. Oh, oh Ricky. <laughs> Oh, I'm playing you. What's up, buddy? Hey, Eli, am I by this time? Oh my god. All right, uh, yes, go. What's that? Uh, yes, you are by here. Okay, cool. Thank you. So she's had two uh, buys in one buys. tournament? I yeah. Fixed that. That, it happened. did it again. Uh, yeah, I, we will look into that, because, yeah, I will take this and tell Alex. That's, yeah, I noted that the other day in Nathus's tournament, I got two buys. I was like, hey, uh... <laughs> yeah, and Shadow was asking for the links to tournament results where it, it did this. It, he wants oh. to see the link to it. Yeah, I, yeah, I had to send him one. Also, so I, got, yeah. I got second place in Nathus's tournament, and all I did was lose a game. <laughs> Yeah, because the funny thing is, so when you have a buy, it all goes off of your opponent's um, match win percentage as an average, but when you only play one person, your entire average is going to be that one person's result. <laughs> Which yeah, was so Nathus. If you lose to the person who goes undefeated, it's 100%. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, he lost to me, and then I went 2-1, and one, so he had a 66% um, win percentage, or opponent match win percentage with a 2-1 and one record, and it was like, this is incredible. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I lost one game and got second place. <laughs> All, All right. the days uh, work, you so know? Everything's up. I will do it in two minutes. All right. Start the count. Sounds good. What's up? There he is. Yeah, today has not been a, a good day for, for my deck. Oh, yeah. So crush me. Also, I think you got the pair down, too, so you better beat me. Yeah. I mean, that's I expect the pair down, so... Fine. All right, um, do you ever see, I'm in, I'm in third place right now with my match win percentages. Nice. And so, is it cut the top four? Is that they're doing? I don't know. I don't think it's going to matter because your your stuff will probably drag me down out of the top cut. Probably. I don't know. If you end up three and one, you should be fine as long as it's not just a cut the top four. I'll message. Um... It may just be a top two cut. <laughs> 
may just be undefeated. I'm, I'm assuming it's top four, but I just shot uh, more than most of the message just to double check. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you can make the table. Right, that works. Create. You're streaming, right? Yes. Yeah, so it's probably better if you just make the table. It actually doesn't make a difference on my end. Cause, like, I don't do anything fancy with overlays. I just kind of mm -hmm. stream as is. So. Gotcha. But I'm happy to have you. Uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm happy to make it. So it's one, two, three is the password. My deck did great against you. You'll have to reload the mod. Oh, it's, reload. it's messed. Yeah, it's messed up for me. There we go. Yeah, the build deck and random fuse thing was right here on my board. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> so. been happening for people lately. Like I've seen it happen sometimes when I join games. Sometimes I just ignore it and let it stay because I'm just too lazy to mm -hmm. reload. All right, you ready to play the coin flip game? Oh uh, yeah. I feel like I've been losing the coin flip, so I'm okay. To <laughs> I lost the, the coin flip against Ben. He wasn't playing Rumble, but he had all the answers when he needed them. So, sure. like the only thing in his deck that could do what it did, he had in the hand when he needed it. So I was like, "All right, you got me." Yeah, I got that. You got me. Against. I gotta actually look at your deck list real quick. Does that matter? Actually, it could. Probably just have to do this first. Sorry, I'm just double checking your list to make sure I don't miss mm -hmm. anything. of you having that actually knowing my luck lately i can't risk it so i think we have to do this and probably this so we start with fortunately a disintegrate mm -hmm. into you it. Mm -hmm. see you had the one of the best off forge hands you could have too that is true it's pretty nice. Hey, look at you go. You. you got the coin flip. You say that, but I actually flipped turn one last game, and then I petered immediately. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but I'll do that in the pass. So, I don't know. This hand's pretty rough. Well, we'll just hard cast those rest. We'll send it to you. Because that's where we're at in life. So, camouflage shambler and to you. Mm -hmm. We'll just ice storm it. Yep, so, I gain one you lose. Mm hmm. Just take three. Yep. Do you think? Can you kill it? Can kill it. it. Yep. Two. Good. Got it. Mm hmm. I will. Shining Ice Crusher to a Dread Bolt. Oh, okay. Yeah. See? Look at you. Yeah, you got yeah. the nuts. I did hit. I, I missed the dark card, though. I've been missing the dark card, I think, every game so far. Yeah. Um, so you'll take two. This will flip. Yep. I got the dark hurt, but you had the thing, so yeah, didn't matter. We have to start with.
Hmm. Well. I don't know. Got some pretty terrible cards, so... Let's just name Zombie. Ha <laughs> ha that'll teach you. <laughs> you like how good my cards are? I'm playing Spirit Reaver. I know. I literally had to play Spirit Reaver my first two rounds both times, and I was just it's like, like "That's." I understand how you feel, because that's literally how my hand has been lately. Um, I think we just have to disintegrate that. Mm -hmm. One, two. Alright, so... Gonna brood fang here. Give that minus three minus three. And then I will I storm this thing. Yes. So it will take eight. Yep. It's gonna drop it here to reset it. Yeah. I that's probably a terrible play, but Do it doesn't matter. No, it's fine. Because you just put it here and flip it again, so... Yeah, I'm sorry. And actually, if I put it here, it also just flips. Because it's stealth. Oh. Yeah. Um, but I think... That is a dumb play. Do you want to rewind? Fine. No, it's it's all good. Yeah, I guess actually I drop it here. Just in case you, for whatever reason, That's fine. had an extra free spell. All right. Six, That's it. Four? Mm-hmm. I'll flip. Mm-hmm. Yep. The magical coin flip game. It's not working so good. I get it. Uh, well. Probably got the answer again, so here we I are. I do. Alright. GG's, just call it. I'm sure. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, this was the only game that I feel like I've actually drawn well today. <laughs> So I had games, we could yeah. we could play it out, but it's just stupid. No, no, at this no. Point. we can we can call it. No, out. we could we could play it. No, it's fine. It's right, just so then yeah. This will get plus four. Least, I gain two, yeah. lose two. Yeah. Then two. It's so stupid. All right, so we'll just Virix embrace that. Gain two, you lose two. Mm -hmm. Minus three, minus three. That. <clears throat> so ask Will for free. Fine, we could play it out, but I just don't. <sighs> no, we, it's up to you. We don't have to. We, no, it's fine. <laughs> play the dark heart. I'll deal four to that and gain four. Mm hmm. This will right. take three. This will die. Yep, because you got the nuts. So I gain two, you lose two, and I'll drop this. And that takes five. Mm hmm. Drop this over here. Feels good when you get the nuts done. It. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, especially after earlier. Mm-hmm. I think we have to start with this. We'll start with a neck revive. Gain two, you lose two. This gets one, two, three, four, and then two. Doesn't even matter. Deal two to that. Yep. Dread bolt it. Two is two. Yeah, because you got the answers. Yeah. Right. And then two. And did you take two more, by the way? From the Dread bolt. Yeah. Just sucks because it's like I'm one short and it's fine. Ugh. All right, that's fine. We'll just go to 21. All right. And I'll deal uh, two to that. It's fine.
I'm just on tilt now. I get it. That's honestly I'm in, kinda... I'm in tilt mode. That's how I felt earlier, too, to be honest. All right. So let's just play this deal two to that and then kill it. And then you take three. I'll flip all Rumble Boy. That's interesting. Guess I can after Yep, because of course you do. Yeah, it'll do. All right. Then will Virix embrace that? I gain six. So, do I care more about that or this? I think I have to do that. Big 16. He'll take nothing. I'm going to disintegrate that. Sure. In three, you lose three. Let's do four. Mm -hmm. I'm taking 16. Mm -hmm. This takes four. Yep. Start with. Do have that though. Then if you do that, that just comes back. And you just need to have the removal as well. Which I think I'm okay. So we will get greedy. Activate an army commander. Mm -hmm. Bring this back to my hand and play it, and we'll upgrade. Group Seems now. good. This will go here. Two. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I don't have removal for that. Do have removal for that. Deal five to it. We'll pass to you. Probably do this. Chunk. So. I'm gonna play in front ritual. I'll sacrifice this. So I gain five, mm -hmm. lose five. And then when mm -hmm. I play the embodiment, we gain five, lose five again. Um, this will resolve first. I'll go zombie. Actually, we'll go zombie, zombie. I think this is how long to quit. No, I think let's do this here. Oh, I'll put this here. I'll deal 
4 damage to that because of elementalist ritual. So you take 3. Five plus 2. Yeah, 5. And then you'll take 12. And then, uh... So we'll die, so we'll take 4. This will, I will disappear so the slight trigger doesn't trigger, but then I'll right. get it back. And I'll drop it. Here, I take five. I'm sorry. Yep. 42. Yep, and that dice. Yes. You like all my uh, good stuff I've been finding here? It's been uh, just wonderful. All right. <laughs> wow. Such is the life we lead, huh? Real question is, I guess, do you have two spells? If you do, that's very bad for me. Oh. So we just agree that. Sorry, which one? This one? Mm hmm. Hope for the best. Is that it? Yep. Yeah, I have the Grave Pact. So, by the Grave Pact, deal five gain, five sacrifice. Yep, there, there you go. go. GG's. Good games. So yep. I feel like that one I high rolled, yeah. It's, I, I know this is exactly how I felt during my first two games. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just the way the game yeah, goes, exactly. it's a coin flip. Like this was buried all game till just now. Yep. My dark heart was buried. Yeah. This round, but I got it the first two rounds. But you had exactly what you needed when you needed it. So. Yeah. Like, it, it, it didn't matter. Having army commanders nice, so you can do that. Exactly. But. The problem, once you get. Oops, sorry, what are you saying? I was just saying, once you get behind, that's it. Yeah, and the problem with this list is once you get ahead and once you land a rumble. This list could protect it like none other because of all the removal, like the Dreadbolt, the Grave Pack, the Necrovive, the Disintegrate, the Flame Sculptor Steel. Like, there's all, so mm -hmm. much removal. But the problem is, is if they get a head start on you and you just have to remove, 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 like, it's just it has no chance to catch up. Right. And that's kind of what happened in the first two games that I played. Was it's just like I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. This is the last round anyway, right? Yeah, I think so. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I just played this to test against the field, and it just feels like it always does. You either do the thing or you don't. Exactly, and that's... And the last, two, the last two rounds, I didn't do the thing, and the first round, I did the thing. So. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, you want to play more games? Yeah, let's do it. Do you want to play against this? Do you want to play against something else? That's fine. We could play against that. Or... I have another deck. I was gonna say, if you, are you playing a Nova deck or something different? Something different. Because I've been wanting to. There's, there's nothing to be gained from playing Nova v Nova. It's just yeah. I was he who gets gonna, the Nova wins. I was actually gonna play my green purple one that I would have played today if I didn't have to eat lunch and want the buy. <laughs> mm hmm uh, Are you okay if I play that one, or do you want to specifically play against this one? That's fine. You can play whatever you want. All right, because this is the deck that I'm debating if I want to bring or not to Worlds. Mm-hmm. We're here to play Soul Forge. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Is this the wrong button? Yeah, the really good green with oh. Yeah, this is a solid purple too. Shambling Summoner. And a corrupt shambler. Yeah, I like this deck a lot. Yeah. It can do stuff, but as with all reactionary decks, going first tends to hurt a lot. Yes, that's very true. It's fine. We will Let's go polymorpher. I'll drop this here. This here on the two. 
Mm-hmm. Place the wisp. Steel plate. Mm-hmm. Sixty-four. Yep. I'll lose one, you gain one. Yep. And I take four more. Mm-hmm. Oh man. And see this enhance like this is why this this shit frustrates the hell out of me. I get it. <laughs> it's like are, are you fucking kidding me right now? <laughs> so uh, forge kill here and destroy level one creature. Yeah. You know, see like I don't even have like forge seal mantis stuff and so it's just there's two I can too. And so it's whatever. I guess we're gonna go Missy and Siphon. I gain three, lose three. Mm -hmm. Sacrifice the Polymorpher. So this is spell number. One, yeah. Two, and see three. if it it just it just feels like it's the same. It's just is it three? Yeah. yeah. So you played Forge Seal, Missy and Siphon, Cersei. Yeah. Yeah, because it just feels like once you're behind, you just you can't catch back up, and so. Take, yep, those trade, and then you lose one, I gain one. Yeah. So, the yep. Yeah, so so I was at but yeah three, see, like this was a Blight Witch summoner hand with zero spells. Oh no. Yeah, and so that's why I was saying, like, it's just so dumb because it's so frustrating. Wait, hold on, I, did I not take my life off? I don't think I did. So I'm white. I was at 45 before, so I should be at 44. Oh, no, but I gained three life off of that, so I went from 45 to 48, and I took just one off the shamble, right? Oh, no, two shambles. So 45, 48, 47, 46. So I should be at 46, right? Yeah, well, so um, whatever, whatever you think. I just want to let me think back to the last turn for a second, um, because I started at 45. Oh. I Dissy and siphoned you to gain three, so I went to 45, 46, 47, 48. I took one shamble when I killed your thing, so that's 47. And I took one shamble when your other thing died, so I should be at 46. So, I have seven spells in this deck, and I drew zero in the top ten. Oh, no. Yeah. So there you go. All right, and then we're all set. So now you're up. Yeah. So... I don't know. It's kind of where we're at. Yeah. And so, once once you've fallen behind, like it 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 pretty much just doesn't matter anymore. It's not completely true, but it's gonna be tough, I think. Well, I mean, once you start playing good decks, like you just can't you can't fall behind like that. Yeah, that's true. I think here we start. Like, like all, I don't know. It's just dumb. This is the place for us. I'll take five. Mm -hmm. I'll upgrade. Yeah. Dizzy and Siphon. Take you lose one. four. Oh, yeah, the one. Dizzy and Siphon three. plus yep. the one. Yep. Yeah, so I took the additional three. Yeah, we'll just play Mystical Bear. So, so I got to play all of two spells. In yeah, cycle one, that's really because <laughs> because I drew <laughs> out of seven spells, I drew three in this hand. Yeah, that's really brutal. All right, so I'll play yeah. my shambling patron. I don't have any beasts, so I'm not going to activate. So this will die. Yours will take three. This will take two. Yours will die. These will trade. That's there. So we each have two shamble triggers. Yep. Interesting. This just for that is pretty strong, but I think I have to start this. To go mystical polymorpher. Yeah, I'll replace that. Yep. Drop that here and then two.
people there. So the question is, is this worth it to do? Now that would be such a waste of my ability. Both are shambles. We do have a light witch hand and a um the uh it's because I had a blight witch summoner hand with zero spells. It's like I'm on the, the train right now of do I kill my own creature to get a shambling trigger to play a freeze as well? And I actually think I shouldn't here because if I just replace this with the drone, take five, I can mm -hmm. upgrade the necromancer and then to you. All right. I think this is where we vermin shut that guy off. Yeah. The life we lead right now. The uh, so try to come from behind. Rain. You'll take three here. So yep. got stealth. Two will trade. So we'll take two. Trade. So we got three, three channels. channels on my side. One, two, three. I get to upgrade one card. A level one card, right? Or any card. Just upgrade. Oh, card. it just doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, that's why the drone is so good. Um, I think we just have to go patron here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, so Dizzy and Siphon. So take four. There's four. Gain four. And then we'll just neck revive you. This one. Hey, I found some of my spells. Can you believe <laughs> it? For sure. Play. So, yeah. And then, is it worth using yet? Yeah. Eight eight or something? Sure. Are you sure? Because I do have the death touch level two. Oh, I guess not then. It doesn't matter. All right, so hey, fine, this... here we go. Nope, nope. Um, so it's I fine. guess I will still just use the death touch level two here. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just one of those things where it just feels like everything's working against you sometimes. I know. So this plus three plus three. Mm-hmm. We'll take eight. Yep. We'll take seven. I haven't even seen my botanimate. It's in here somewhere. I know it's a card. Yeah. <laughs> here you go. Oh, do you want to just light, go to the... light Witch Summoner. We did it. Oh, do you want to go to the next game? <laughs> yeah. Two, two rounds in a row. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> no spells. Yeah, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine, man. I feel like this I'm is just... literally how my first two rounds felt, and I was just like, oh, no. So it's I know just... how you're feeling. <laughs> it's just how, just the way it goes. Like, if life co life totals couldn't tell a story any better of a game. <laughs> True. Yeah, and like, on my hand, I had Forge Seal, Dissian Siphon, Soothing Mantis, Necrotic Walker, and Lead the Charge, so I had a really strong hand here. Well, yeah, well, your drones were able to put in work, so yeah, it helps. Were. Do I do one more? Are you feeling done? Yeah, that's fine. We can keep playing. Like it doesn't. I'm not mad or anything. It's just. Do you want to do your rumble against this? Because I'm curious to see how this can survive against a good rumble. We can. Oh, if you want to play that, play. You already have it up. Go for it. Depends on how I how well the fifty fifty goes. For sure. So this is the part where it's like I have to play it perfectly and you still have the advantage in this pairing, I think. 
Yeah. Hey, I get to go first again. Was this like three games in a row? Yeah, that is three in a row. Hmm. I think gotta be this. This is a weird opener. We're gonna play Cersei's Call. Mm hmm. Two. You're probably gonna sack it, but oh well. There you go. Forge seal and kill that one. So I take seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a Zeris Will and Abyssal Drake and a lead the charge. So it yeah, was just a, a weird for you. opener. But if anything, at least I have the Forge Seal. Yeah. Level. Mine was Brood Fang, Infernal Ritual, and Ghastly Renewal were the cards that you didn't see from me. Oof. I think this is just good to be able to immediately get rid of that and then pass. that group but the option here is to go this and then pass oh yeah that'll <laughs> do it all right so you're taking five six seven eight nine ten taking four yeah. this will takes one. one so then i have the forge so this triggers first so i get my zombie it's our work oh then you're calling this yeah Still killing that with the wind okay. spark. Not for sure. All right, this is going to be a tough one. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't even have a dark heart. And Hello? Sam, you won? Yes. Okay. Paired down and lost. Thanks, Eli. <laughs> uh, all right. What do we do here? I think we just deal three to that. Sorry, which one? Oh, this one. Oh wow, there was one, two, four, three ones, and then one four oh. That'll be interesting to see who doesn't get to the top four. It's Eric, Rachel, Nate, and Ben. Oh, did he already refresh it? Mm hmm So right. Christy went three one and got knocked out. Oof, that's brutal. And here actually let me just quickly end the stream as well, because I forgot I was still streaming while we were playing. Uh, that's uh, fine. We can <laughs> show right. the world. True. All right, we'll finish this game then. All right, so let's. Oh yeah, so it's my first play. I'll go summoning council. You'll forward all non-elementals. Oof. I think I'm going to have to take the 12 just for the sake of living in this matchup. I think this one's a little more empty because it's got bigger stats. Although if I do this, I could immediately kill your thing next turn with my ability. Although you have Dark Heart that has not come out yet. I have Dark Heart and I have Stimbolt, so I could instantly trigger it if I wanted. If I draw the right cards. Yeah, so I guess this will live through it as well. So I'll do this. Mm -hmm. This will take one, two, four. I'll take 12. Six, seven, eight, oh. I probably should have double checked to see if the elemental switcher was still there before I decided to summon in council. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. 
we are going to start with this. So, mystical polymorpher right here. I think we go actually on forge, I'll go. Polymorpher, Wisps, and again. Two. Steal six to everything? Yeah. Just the one not be. So I think I just have to lower this. Need two. And two. Alright, so I take eight. Yeah. This is dead. Super awkward hands, here we are. So, I guess we just throw out a big body. I will. Start with the summoning council. We'll go Oak Father. Here we'll go Wisp. Here and then. Lamp Sculptor Seal, deal five to that, and then I'll Varix embrace it. out sixteen sixteen one total damage. Fortunately that's my only one move. So big five. I'll upgrade a botanimate. Mm -hmm. I go to two. Go five to that. Mm -hmm. In one. And yeah, you got this one. There's nothing I could have done. Make a five mm -hmm. five and then I die. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the thing where it's like, I think I just have to make sure that if they have elemental search, well, I got to play creatures with the break point above that. Yep. That's the one card that, like, it just blows me out every time I play against the a Rumble deck. I think if they have elemental search, well, or like Firestorm are the two big ones for me. That's yeah, I also have Ice Storm too. Yeah, so. Ice Storm's not as bad. That's why I was placing stuff in certain spots, oh, so yeah. you Try to you make felt like you Ice Storm. Yep. Try to make you have to put stuff where you you feel like <laughs> yeah. you you need to put it there, but it's an Ice Storm <laughs> range for me. For sure. Do you want to play one more? Or are you feeling done? Yeah, it's fine. All right, and then thank you everybody for tuning into the stream. Um, this was a really fun event. Um, I hope that we have more soon. I think there's actually a silver event. Is it tomorrow or Monday? Rusty? Monday. All right, awesome. So yeah, so I'll probably be streaming on Monday as well. Um, and then yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in. I'll see you next time. So just... Did you like my little chat message to you? I did. <laughs>